Hi, in this video, we'll build a simple admin panel for a MySQL database using Kotster. Kotster is a free, open source admin panel that connects directly to your database. It lets you create table pages to view and manage data in your database, build dashboards, or even build custom pages from scratch. It's self-hosted, highly customizable, and comes with built-in authentication and user management. There are two ways to build and run a Kotster project. You can use Node.js or Docker. I recommend Node.js because it gives you more control over the app. Now, let's copy the command from the documentation, run it in your terminal, and follow the prompts. This will create a new project. Once that's done, we can start the server and open the app in our browser. When running the project for the first time, you will be asked for a project name, along with a username and password for the root admin user. After that, you'll see the Getting Started screen, where you can connect the app to your MySQL database. The credentials you enter are stored only in your app and never leave it. After entering the connection details, we click Connect. And our database is now connected, and we can create the first page. We will create a basic table page that allows us to view and manage data in the database table, Users. Let's click Add. As we can see, the page was successfully generated, and it already includes all the standard admin features, including viewing, adding, editing, and deleting records, as well as searching, sorting, filtering, and pagination. It even detected all the linked records in foreign tables and added them as additional columns. Let's open the settings and adjust our table a bit by hiding the columns that we don't really need. Right away, you can see that the table layout was updated, and we didn't write a single line of code. We just used the built-in page builder. Let's see what the linked orders table looks like. In Kotster, this kind of child table is called a nested table, and it can also be customized. You can also see that Kotster detected all the foreign records for this table as well. Now, let's go back to the main table and add a calculated column showing each user's total order amount. For this, we need to provide an SQL subquery. We can write the SQL ourselves or use the built-in AI SQL generator. Let's type a prompt and add the column. As we can see, the table now has the calculated column. Now, let's create another table page. For this one, I'll provide a raw SQL query. Imagine we want to see the number of orders each month, including delivered and canceled, for the past year. Let's use the AI SQL generator again here. Let's click Add. Our report table page is generated. Notice that it automatically picked up all the columns from the results of the select query we provided. Now, let's add a dashboard page with a period selector. First, let's add a chart to show how many new users signed up each day for the selected period. I'll choose an area chart. Let's generate the SQL query using AI again. Let's add it to the dashboard and make it full width. Now, let's add some statistics to the top of the dashboard. First, the total number of new users for the selected period. Next, let's add a stat that shows the percentage of delivered orders out of all new orders. And finally, the total amount of orders for the selected period. And that's it. Our simple dashboard is ready. Just like that, you can create table pages and dashboards with the Visual App Builder without writing any code. And if you need more control over the interface or business logic, you can directly edit the source code of any page. You can also build fully custom pages from scratch, or choose one of the page templates and adjust it to your needs. Okay, let's finish up by setting roles and permissions. I'll create two roles, Manager, with access to manage users and roles, and Support Agent, with no special permissions. For the Users page, let's allow only users with the role Manager to create, update, and delete records, while everyone else can only view them. And let's make the Order Report page accessible only to managers. And that's it. The next step would be to go to the Users section, create a user, and assign them to one or more roles. And with that, in just a few minutes, we've built a simple admin panel for a MySQL database using Kotster. Next, you can make the app available for your team. Since it's a Node.js server, you can run it almost anywhere. You can set it up in minutes on cloud platforms like AWS or DigitalOcean, or run it on your own servers. The documentation has all the guides you need to get started. This was a quick overview of Kotster, a free, self-hosted admin panel for your MySQL database. To learn more or get started, visit our website and check out the documentation. All the links are below the video. Thanks for watching.